Hello, Jacob and Nate. Nana's story today is about the unhappy stone cutter. Now, this is the story about um, a Japanese man. And there's a moral to this story. And if there are any questions tomorrow, you can always ring Nana. But the moral of this story is that you should always count your blessings and be very grateful for everything that you get and do. And maybe not wish for too many things either. So here's the story and I will begin. There it is, the unhappy stone cutter. Haru is the stone cutter. And there's the big mountain that he has to climb. A long time ago, a stone cutter called Haru lived in Japan. Every day, Haru climbed up the mountain to cut away stone and carve it into statues for his customers. Haru was a happy man and he heard stories of a spirit that came down from the mountain and granted wishes. Haru took no notice of the stories because he did not wish for anything. But one day, Haru took a statue he had carved to a rich man's house. As he entered the house, he looked around at all the beautiful things the rich man owned and Haru wished that he was rich too. As soon as Haru had made his wish, the spirit from the mountain granted it and when he got home, his house was much bigger and it was full of expensive things and Haru felt very happy and he did not have to work anymore because he wished for something really big. But one day the sun was so hot that Haru had to stay indoors and as he looked out of the window he saw a prince pass by in a carriage with servants holding umbrellas over his head. And Haru wished he were a prince too. So guess what happened? Yep, the mountain spirit granted Haru's wish and his house became a palace full of servants. But Haru was unhappy because the sun was still too hot for him to go outside. He wished he were the sun. Oh. And again, the mountain spirit granted Haru's wish. He became the sun and made the grass and the crops in the fields wither and die. But then a cloud passed by and blocked his rays. And Haru was furious. He wished he were a cloud. Guess what happened? Once more wish, once more his wish was granted and Haru became a cloud. He rained down on earth, flooding the land and washing away almost everything. But he could not wash away the mountain, so then Haru wished he were the mountain. Haru's wish was granted again and he became the mountain. But one day a stone cutter climbed up the mountain and started chipping away at the rock. Haru wished he were a stone cutter. The spirit granted his wish and Haru was a stone cutter once more. He worked hard and his life was simple. But Haru was happy and he never wished for anything 
ever again. So the moral of the story, boys, is many traditional stories have a moral and this is a lesson you can learn from the story. The moral of this story is that you should count your blessings and be grateful for who you are and what you already have. This story also warns us to be careful what we wish for. And that's the end of the story. I hope you like that one. It's called The Unhappy Stonecutter. But he did get happy in the end, didn't he? Okay. I hope you like it. And I'll do another one for you next week. Love you to the moon and back. Speak to you soon. Bye.